Hey guys, it's me, Moomin Papa, and I'm here to talk to you about how to play pumped coins. Now, I'm not necessarily saying chase a pump or look into pump and dump groups and stuff like that. This is more about how to play the pumps after they happen. I playfully call them an aftershock because once a huge pump pops up, usually, if not in the next few hours, a day or two later, another pump is going to happen right after it. It might not be to the same magnitude, not to the same height, maybe 75% of the height or 50, there's no set numbers. I'm not looking at fib lines or anything like that. And fib lines pertain to Fibonacci lines, which I don't prescribe to at all. But basically, this is a lot easier than you really realize it is. Really realize? So what you wanna do is you wanna look in that red column on the side. And once you're on this red column on the side, just scan and look at those charts and just go to um, trading view. So BCPT on trading view. And we're going to look at Bittrex because that's what we're on. Lo and behold, look at that. It was pumped. So we can look back in the chart and see, yeah, it was pumped here and there. Thank you, trading view. Yes, thank you. It's pumped back here about 30%, 20%, 40%, 30 30%. So the median like pump amount would be like 20%. Let's see what this one was. This one was a big one. That was really big. So what would I do here? Would I buy this and wait for it to pump again? No, not really. I mean, there's no pattern here. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Like this right here, seeing this one and then this pump happened, then yes. This next one and looking at this, thinking this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. I'm expecting that within the next eight days, it would pump again. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a week later, it pumps up and what what if I bought it right here at the bottom of where it was, the close of that day? And I just planned on getting 20%. I could have got 20% six days later. Some of you might argue with me saying six days is too long to have your funds tied up in a trade waiting for it to pop. That's fine. You don't have to do this. But for those of you that are looking at ways to ride these pumps and to profit from them and grow your account quickly, it does take some patience. Let's look at another chart. So we have power. Power Ledger on Bittrex. Here we go. So this one I might be more interested in playing. Reason being is that on the daily chart, it got pumped here up 20%, got pumped here just a little bit, but I mean 13%, that's pretty great. Got pumped a lot, made a nice rally, pumped up 20%, fell down, pumped up, fell down, pumped up, and then here we go, fell down and pumped up again. So I would probably play this. When would I buy this one? Mm, I would probably buy it here, to be honest. I would buy it right above 4,000 Satoshi. So maybe 4,020 Satoshi, probably right around there. Why would I buy this again? Probably because this popped up, mega popped, 90%. Maybe there was good news, I don't know. Uh, I'm not looking at the fundamentals, but looking at that alone, there was a pop the next day, it dropped, and then it did 25%, then it did another one, 10%, then it fell, and it tried to find its support, its bottom, and it looks like the bottom is about here in this area, about 4,000 Satoshi, and after it settled there for a little bit, bam, went up 30%. So now comes into play the question, how much percentage take profit do you choose do you aim for the tippy top or do you aim for the middle is there a percentage value for starters never ever aim for the tip top everybody is aiming for the tip top everyone is going to want to exit this at what is it 54 5400 satoshi don't do it are you kidding because what if and it's probably not going to hit the tip top again then you're stuck. Then you're waiting for it to hopefully pop again. Don't do it. That's dumb. What I would do is I would look at this pump to see the percentage. 34%. That's great. Then I would probably just go down to 20 or maybe even to 15. And then with three commas, I would set a trailing take profit of 1% or 2%. And that way, if it went up instead of 15, if it went up 17, 19, 20, then at least I would get out with 19% if it's going up in 2% trailing take profit. 
So that's pretty good to me. Like that would be fine. Another quick note about using three commas for playing pumps. Sometimes the pumps are flash pumps. And this might sound weird, but it's true. Sometimes they just pop up and for some reason or another, three commas is too slow to exit that trade in profit or where you expect it to. It's happened to me a couple of times and it's been frustrating. I'm sure it has been for some of you that have also done it. So my alternative solution for you would be to use a trailing stop loss. And if you're buying here at what seems to be a support line or a base, then you would look down to see, well, how much are you willing to lose? And looking at this past line right over here, it looks about 4%, 5%. So if you set your trailing stop loss to 5%, and then it went up all the way here. So let's see. Let's see, it went up 35%. Then you would exit with 30. That's pretty good too with the trailing stop loss. I've also used this method as well. Um, for playing these repeat pumps or these aftershock pumps using a trailing stop loss. It works. You have to have it pretty tight and there are instances where you just get stopped out and it goes up even higher and you just have to change your mentality when you're trading. You can't get hung up and say, ah, like that went up 50% and I only got 30. Hello, 30%? Are you kidding? That's insane. That's a, that's a huge, <laughs> that's a huge increase. That's a great trade. Think about it this way. In the traditional stock market, um, trading funds and trading managers are hoping to get at least 2% year-over-year return. 2% on a huge account. And in the crazy world of crypto, with these huge swings and pops and drops and all that stuff, all the volatility means that there are so many opportunities for you to make huge percentages. So be satisfied. If it's if it goes up 50% and you get 25%, you got 25%. You have to learn to be content with what you get. And that's more of a mindset switch. Don't get greedy. Just get satisfied. Be satisfied with the gains because it's a gift when you get these pops and you're able to do that. So rant over, but that's, that's what I'm saying and that's what I think. Let's look at another chart off of this. Um, let's see. Bits. Okay. Initial thoughts, no. Nope, nope, nope. Does it show up on the red column in the scanner? Yes. Is that a big jump? Yes. Why no? It's a new coin. This coin was just listed on Bittrex on June 11th, and it had some crazy action. Can you, <laughs> there's no way you could have prepared for that 250% spike. There's no way. Um, maybe after that happened, then you would say, well, I'll play this looks like an, a support line here, and then you could made some decent percentage values over and over. But right now, it's just way too risky. Let's change it. And it's also very low volume. Um, here's a good candidate for fat finger catching, to be honest. Seeing this huge drop right here, if I would have caught that and noticed it, then I would have set um, my fishing line for fat finger fishing at about the midline right about here. And just looking at 50% of this line, so 15%. And then I would have got filled. 15% drop down to get 20%. That's pretty great. And I would just say, hey, I'll do it again at that 15% value. Or maybe I might even make it, make it less. Maybe I might make it just 10% from this bottom line. So then I would have got filled two more times. So those of you naysayers that say you can't find fat fingers and you can't do blah, 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 just... Look for when they happen, and lo and behold, they'll happen again. That's the secret to fat finger fishing, and it's the same thing for pumps. So let's look at a different chart. I want to take some time to explain the color coding purpose on the 24-hour spread and the near 24-hour um, columns, columns F and G. So for starters on G, you'll notice that you'll see several coins Actually, a lot of coins. I can't count them all because the list is so long. But there are a lot of these coins here that are green. But like MUE and AID and ANT and ARDOR aren't showing up. That's because of this filter that's set here. And I have access to this filter. You don't. Sorry. But I feel like it's going to save you time to look for coins that are 
um, within 3% of the 24 hour low for that coin because you're just going to waste your time looking for other ones that are the safer account builder traits. So that's, that's the purpose of this column. So there's green, yellow, and red. For yellow and red, I don't have a filter because there might be some that are fat finger drops or pumps, but not this huge percentage as BCPT or Power did. Okay, so in this near 24-hour low, a lot of these are color-coded here too. So anything that's black on white means it's within 1% of the 24-hour low. Anything that's red would be 1% to 2%. Blue is 2 to 3%, then after that everything is fine. But then when you get things that are over 10%, then they're red. This is to help you kind of zoom in and figure out what's this going on. So we can see here, BCPT is right there. So what that's telling me is that the high for this was 4,000 Satoshi, the low is 22.5, and it's now at 26.5. So that means that it's kind of close to the low for the period, but it popped up, it had a huge high. So that's a pump candidate right there. Um, when I see a coin like this, BSD, and it has a red um, column Fs, the near 24 hour low is red, for this one that's green, then that's telling me that it probably did a little bit of a dip. Let's double check that and see. So I'm going to highlight this so I don't forget. BSD. Yeah. Look at that. So in the past 24 hours, looking at this scanner, it told me, just looking here, that the spread over 24 hours was 15%, but it's 10% away from the 24-hour low. Meaning if the low is down here, this is the spread, and it's 15%, and then it's 10% above the low. That means it's up here. That means that it just had to have either risen up gradually over time, or it was a fat finger drop. So that will help you as well. Now we can use the opposite logic, and we can look for a coin that is yellow, but it has a, a very, very, very small percentage. Let's see. Here we go. Vib. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So it's not so low, but this spread, 24%, is almost in that 25% category. It's so close. Um, but because of the filtering, it doesn't show up. So what this means, what this is telling me is that the high is 1464, the low is 11, and the last is 12. So that means in a 24-hour period, it shot up. 24%. So let's take a look at Vib on Bittrex. Bam. Voila, as the French say. So I look at this and I see this popped up 20%. That's pretty good. Now, the next thing I need to do as a trader is to look at the chart and see has it popped recently? And this is an hourly chart. Yes. Yes. Yes, it popped a lot. Let's look back. Not popping so much over here. Okay, so the next thing to do is to figure out when do I think it's going to pop again. So this one popped about 24 hours. This is about 12 hours. So that means that I'm expecting this one to pump in about, well, in about two hours from now. So there's a high probability that this one will pop again. Now, do I put my take profit at the very tip top? No, just settle for something lower, like this, like 1392. That's that's 16%, that's fantastic. That There's nothing to complain about there. Okay, so Vibrate is also on Binance. You saw that when it popped up and was looking for it. So what about coins that are not on Binance, but that pop often? I have one and I wanna show you another tactic that I use for playing these coins. So it, this one is SPR. Um, this one had a lot of action. Unfortunately, I didn't play most of these because I was busy doing other things and I was dumb. <laughs> That's the real answer, I was dumb. So I had a video recently with Colton and he talked about account building trading and one thing he said to me that 
almost correlates really well to this, looking for these aftershock pumps or these repeat pumps, is to look for a base. The trouble that we have as emotional people is that we want to participate right away. When we see that pump, we want to get in like that. But the reality is that it's better to wait. It's better to look at the chart and to see, well, when did it settle down? Where did it settle down to? So let's look at the chart here. Uh, sorry. I just want to make the candles bigger. Here we go. So we can see that there is a big pump right here. There's a huge spike that goes up 70, over 70%. 70 then it does some more pumps as it goes down. But this is a huge support. What happens on the next pump? It's near that support, goes under it, pops up 34%. Let's look at the next one. This next one goes a bit above, that support pops up. This one hits the support, pops up. Now we're getting away from that, and now we've made kind of a new support line, and now we're under it, but look where we are. What do you think is going to happen next? Now, in, in all honesty, it could not pump again. There's a huge chance that it will not do it again. And the reason I say it might not do it again is because this is a lot. There are a lot of pumps in a 20, let's see, I'll extend this. Yeah, 22 days. It pumped one, two, three, four, five times over 15%. That's crazy. But it could probably happen again, and I think it will. I actually posted this on the Discord server saying, keep your eyes open. This is probably going to pop again. Look for 15% plus, something like that. It's probably going to happen again. Now, if you don't have the freedom um, due to your lifestyle or your job or your family to look for these coins like I do, even though I have all of those, I make the time to do it. Not to say that you should be making the time to do it, but I just, I do. I think it's fun. It's a game to me. So if you don't have time to do this, I have a solution for you. And that's the Crypto Pro app. It's the app that I made a video about a while ago. It's this app right there. So that Crypto Pro app is fantastic. And I'm going to post a link to that video right about here. And I want you to watch that video to see how you set up alerts. I'm not suggesting that you set up alerts to hit a certain price. I suggest you set up a recurring alert based on percentage. So as long as you have the app set up so that you're going to get those notifications as it goes up and down 5% and you look for that place to buy in the bottom, you're set. It couldn't be easier than that. Please do join my Discord server. I would love to talk to you and answer any questions you have about the videos you've watched, or you can talk to other people that are on the server that have had experience with things that maybe I haven't had experience with, or they um, could give you other insights as well. It's a free thing to do. So you can leave comments here on YouTube. I appreciate it. And I love answering them and interacting with you guys, but you can join me over on Discord and that way you can get to me a lot quicker and easier. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and that you see some value in playing these aftershock pumps. It's not as hard as it looks. And I hope that you use three commas, so that way you can use that enable the trailing feature, whether it's trailing take profit or trailing stop loss. It is a huge, huge blessing to use three commas because not only do you get the trailing features, but you get notifications. And I love seeing those notifications, trailing take profit enabled and get a couple of extra percent out of the trade. It's awesome. Well, enjoy your summer. Stay awesome. Stay in the green. See you next time.